Hello, this is Nick from BIMPure. Here's my top 10 favorite new features in Revit 2025. My favorite new feature is the ability to create an array of 0 or 1 elements in Revit families. In previous versions of Revit, if the array goes below 2, you get a warning and the family breaks. To solve this, you had to create formulas to circumvent the issue. This problem has been fixed in Revit 2025. When creating an array of 0 or 1 elements, the family will not break. Inside of the family editor, you will still see elements in a gray preview unless you turn on preview visibility. There is a limitation to this new feature. It only works inside of the family editor, not for elements arrayed in a project. Last year, Revit 2024 introduced a new Topo Solid tool. In Revit 2025, many improvements have been made to it. The first is the ability to excavate Topo Solids. When a Topo Solid is selected, click on Excavate. In this case, we pick a floor. You can see the Topo Solid is cut around the floor. That means you don't have to use building pads anymore. The hole created by a building can be managed by excavating the bottom slab. The excavation tool works with floors, roofs, and other Topo Solids. This feature includes excavation data. When a floor has been used for excavation, a parameter called excavation volume on Topo Solid will appear. And if a Topo Solid has been excavated by multiple elements, you can go to a menu called individual excavation volume. Each element will showcase the individual volumes. These fields can be included in schedules. If you change your mind, you can unexcavate an element from the Topo Solid. The snaps have been improved in Topo Solid editing mode. When modifying the sub-elements, choose this option called Snap XYZ. When active, the snaps will include the height position. In this example, we match the height of the topo solid point to this wall. You can set an offset value to the point. For example, we place the topo solid 3 feet below the wall. Another change to Snap is the ability to turn off snapping to topo solid lines and points. The default behavior is that you can always snap to lines and points of the topo solid you are editing. You can now turn that off by clicking on this arrow and unchecking this box. The snaps are deactivated. Converting topo surfaces now includes building pads. In Revit 2024, when you converted a topo surface to a topo solid, building pads were ignored. In Revit 2025, they are now included. However, they are only included as long as you keep the original topo surface element. Place families on cut topo solids. In Revit 2024, there was a glitch if you tried to place a family on a cut topo solid. It will be randomly placed and ignore the cut surface. This issue has been resolved in Revit 2025. You can easily place trees and other families in cut parts of topo solids. Shaft opening improvements with topo solids. In Revit 2024, there was a bug where a shaft would entirely cut a topo solid, regardless of the bottom location of the shaft. In Revit 2025, this issue has been resolved. Shaft will cut to their bottom location instead of cutting the entire height of the topo solid. Topo solid smooth shading. If you don't like seeing lines in topo solids and would love a more smooth, realistic feel, there's a new option for you. In the Messing Inside tab, click on this arrow. Click on Topo Solid Smooth Shading. As you can see, the topo solid looks more smooth and natural in 3D views. Create a topo solid with model by face. If you are a fan of the messing tools in Revit, this feature is for you. In the Messing Inside tab, you can see this option to create a topo solid by face. Pick a face from this mass. In the ribbon, click on Create Topo Solid. A topo solid is created to follow the shape. The contour lines should properly display. If you are enjoying this video, you will love the BIMPure membership. Subscribe now to get access to our collection of high-level Revit courses. You will also access our collection of Revit families, Dynamo scripts, and the Pro Template. Get unique industry knowledge from the world's biggest BIM experts with the BIM Master Session mini courses. And finally, join live master classes about various BIM and Revit topics. Subscribe now and access all content at BIMPure.com. Feature number three: quickly align annotation elements. In previous versions of Revit, aligning multiple tags and tags had to be done manually. Each element has to be moved one by one. The alternative was to use a free plugin called Align by BIM42. In Revit 2025, there are now quick align tools in the ribbon. When multiple text tags and keynotes tags are selected, you can see this alignment tool. 
For example, you can align all the elements to the left. In addition to the left, right, and center alignments, you can also equally distribute the elements on the height. Select all the annotation and click here. You can see they are now equally spaced. Sheet Collections. This feature can be used to group multiple sheets together. Right-click the Sheets icon and select New Sheet Collection. Rename the collection. We call it Bob's Collection. Create a second collection. We call this one Nancy's Collection. Then, when a sheet is selected, you can assign a collection. The sheets will be grouped there in the project browser. When using collections, it is possible to reuse the same sheet number. In this case, we duplicate a sheet in Bob's collection and switch it to Nancy's collection. Then, it is renamed to A101. This number already exists in Bob's collection, but since the sheets are in different collections, Rivet allows us to do it. The sheet collection can be scheduled in the sheet list. In this example, we include it along the sheet name and number. Also, we can filter the sheet list with specific collections. For example, let's only keep the sheets in Bob's collection. This feature is going to be helpful if you have multiple submission documents that require the use of the same sheet number. Now, let's talk about improvements to the new Dynamo. We should point out that Dynamo releases are not necessarily released at the same time as Rivet. Most of these features are already available with the Revit 2024.2 release. Anyway, the first one is better search. Searching in Dynamo has always been a pain. It is now much better. There's also typo tolerance in search. If you have a typo in the search, you should still find what you are looking for. Track packages easily. One of the problems with Dynamo is managing nodes from external packages. Now you can see the name of the custom package when you hover the cursor above the node. Also, if you zoom out, you can see that the node from a custom package appears in purple, along with a special icon. Dockable Python Script Editing The Python Script window can now be docked on the Dynamo window. When you edit a Python Script node, click on this icon. You can modify the script while still accessing other parts of Dynamo. New Link Nodes Accessing information in linked Revit models was always a bit complex. The new release includes 8 new nodes to access elements in links. New TopoSolid nodes. Revit 2024 introduced the TopoSolid feature, but it didn't include nodes to interact with them. It is not possible to create TopoSolids using native nodes. There are many new features in Dynamo. Make sure to check out the official Dynamo blog to stay updated. Feature number 6, Multiple Loop Mollion Profiles. In Revit 2025, you can now have many loops in your Mollion profiles. That includes the ability to have inner loops to create an element with a specific thickness. You can also have multiple 3D elements in the same profile. You can see the profile family created for this Mollion. However, you cannot assign different materials to the different profile loops. Feature number 7, Activate and Wrap. Let's activate the wrapping options for this brick wall. At the end of the wall, you can see an icon to activate and deactivate the wall wrap. This way, you can have one end of the wall with a wrap and another without. However, this is limited to wall ends. It is not available for openings. The search feature has been improved in Revit 2025. In the old Revit, only the parent would display if the keyword was found. You could not expand the menu. In Revit 2025, if the keyword is found for a parent, you can expand the menu. Feature number 9. Auto join and lock when placing walls is finished. If you like to create separate wall types for finishes, this might be helpful to you. The standard workflow when placing a finish wall is that you have to manually join the walls together to clean the lines and to ensure the opening cuts through both walls. When creating a wall, you can see two new icons next to the draw options. Auto join removes the needs to join the walls together. For it to work, you must ensure the walls are next to one another. You can see the lines are clean and the opening cuts the new wall. There's a second option called Auto Join and Lock. This does the same thing, but the walls can be constrained to one another. That means that they will be moved together. This is good in theory, but too many constraints in a project can slow down the model. Feature number 10 Room Perimeter includes inner loops. In the old Revit, inner loops in rooms were ignored when calculating the perimeter. In the new version, inner loops will be added to the perimeter. 
that could be helpful if you need to calculate linear length of materials. That's it for the most interesting new features in Revit 2025. Here are some additional features. 